This month has been all about trade and tariffs, and it's also been the only down month for stocks, not coincidentally. Uh, everybody had been worried about China, which is a big deal because it's the second biggest economy in the world. And everybody had been hoping that things would be moving along into a relatively quick resolution. That all went out the window earlier this month when President Trump threatened to raise tariffs, which he ultimately did. Uh, what's worrying markets now is that this Mexico tariff situation has come completely out of left field. Nobody was expecting it. And if you have these things popping up, it's uncertainty that the markets hate most of all. They do not know how to handle that, and their first reaction is to sell. And that's what's happening today. And that's what's been happening this month. The economy is still doing pretty well. Job growth is still solid. Consumer confidence is actually still high, uh, which is important considering consumers make up the bulk of the economy. It's the markets where all the action is happening. Uh, people are very worried about how all these tariffs are going to affect corporate profits going forward. And not just that, but business confidence. If CEOs are not feeling very strong about prospects around the world, they're not going to be investing in their own companies. They're not going to be buying new equipment. They're not going to be hiring more workers. It's going to slow down uh, and have ripple effects throughout corporate profits. Ultimately, U.S. consumers will be the ones paying the tariffs, or at least a big chunk of it. Can, uh, companies can try to pass it along, but there is pressure to move those cost increases along down the line. They can't absorb all of them without taking big hits to their own profits.